Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 29th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This reading may or may not be for you. This reading is not sign specific, so keep that in mind. My lips are sealed. Somebody wants to be the hero. Somebody wants to be the hero. They don't want to make any compromises. You're not prepared. You're not prepared. Somebody is not prepared. They're not prepared. Not prepared for, for this person's actions. Somebody is about to take action. This is somebody that is very feisty. Very fiery. This person has some sort of vision This person has a vision that is telling them that they need to do something. They've been keeping it to themselves, very, very silent. But now they just want to be recognized. They haven't been working with anybody. Somebody's been working alone. This person is not very enlightened, really. They're not really enlightened. They're not spiritual at all. Whoever this person is that's taking action is not spiritual. This person... Uh, is wanting to come across as the hero, wanting to come across as the hero, wanting to be recognized, reluctant to take any new approach. This person has been battling themselves. Going back and forth, back and forth as to what they want to do. So really contemplating, you know, thinking, Analyzing. Tr coming up with a plan. Uh, uh, devising a plan. Somebody has devising been, been, been devising a plan in their mind. I think we have somebody here that is not in a good place with this Six of Swords reversed. But the Four of Pentacles reversed. The very first card is about opening up. This is letting go of fear and this is letting go of fear. Somebody hasn't been reacting to their plan because of fear. But they're about to because we have some confidence here. Nobody knows what they are going to do, put it that way. They have told nobody or very few. We have somebody here that doesn't work well with others. 
right here. Ooh, four of pentacles. It's very interesting because we have a, uh, we have like a lot of duality here. A lot of back and forth, a lot of uh, double standards per se as well. Four, four, three, three, six, six. Duplicates. Interesting. Now, this is somebody who is looking for happiness, wants happiness, wants to be the center of attention, likes to be the center of attention. This is the moment of decision. Feeling hopeless. We have somebody here that is feeling hopeless has been feeling like their their dreams have been dashed. We've been talking about this a lot lately. This person is about to take action. This person is getting creative. They're coming up with their plan. Very disappointed. We this is an emotional disappointment. We have somebody here that is ready to face some challenges and leave all the disappointment behind. Just looking for victory. We'll do anything to win. We have somebody here that will do anything to win and to stop somebody else. Oh. Now, the Three of Swords reversed. This is a need to forgive. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's time to release this pain. And this is leaving the past hurts behind as well. But we have somebody here that has been very stubborn and has been reluctant to leave the past hurts behind. Very, very, very reluctant. I'm going to have to shut my phone off here. No, I'm sorry. Just let me shut my phone off. It's just not going to stop until I do. So, um... Yeah, we got somebody here that does not want to... The Six of Swords reversed with the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords reversed. We have somebody here that wants to win at all cost and is like holding a grudge. This person is holding a grudge because of the past pain. They can't let it go. And it's like they want to be seen as the hero. They want to be seen as... You know, the Almighty. They do. Things are about to open up. Some This person is about to make a decision. They have been thinking about it. They've been planning. You don't see it coming. They haven't told anybody what their plans are. It does have to do with being centered stage. It's like they want to be recognized. Somebody definitely wants to be recognized. Judgment. Judgment. Another card of forgiveness. Another card of release. Rising. This is a card of somebody is getting some sort of awakening. Some sort of epiphany. Carrying, somebody is carrying a heavy burden. They are very, very overwhelmed. 
and it's time to rise. It is time to rise above this whole situation. They can't let it go. They cannot let it go. Somebody is is being really weighed being weighed down by their past. They are. They haven't they can't forgive and they need to forgive. They need to forgive. We have a really unhappy camper over here. Somebody that is unhappy. Somebody that hasn't healed. This person is about to... This person can't heal for some reason. This person is about to... Step over the edge. You know, go over the edge. It's like this person has lost hope. It's like, it's almost like nobody wants to communicate with them anymore. Nobody trusts them anymore. It's like they're losing uh, all support with these threes reversed. So this person over here is about ready to do something. It's almost like they're trying to gain respect, regain respect. They've lost respect with the Three of Pentacles. Somebody has lost respect because of their Miser miserableness. I mean, somebody that was miserable. Somebody has definitely been holding a grudge. There's no doubt. We have grudge everywhere here. Holding a grudge on something. Mentally trapped. Somebody's been trapped in their own head. Trapped in their own prison, but they can escape. But they've been choosing not to escape. They've been uh, playing a victim. Allowing themselves to be a victim of their own demise. <laughs> Absolutely. Not seeing the truth. Refusing to see the truth. That they, they're the cause. I mean, they don't have to stay in this situation. But they've been choosing to stay in this situation. They've been play, playing that martyr. No shit. This is, we have somebody here that has been uh, choosing to... Be a victim, you know, choosing to let themselves be in this negative situation that they're in. They're allowing themselves. They can walk away. They can open their mouths. They can go someplace else, but they haven't. Because negative attention is attention, right? Any attention. And that's what it is. Some people will do anything for attention, even if it is negative attention. It's still some sort of attention. So we have somebody here that has been getting negative attention, uh, pretending that they were all beaten up and this and that when they could escape at any moment, but they chose not to. Anyhow, ooh. We have somebody here that... Uh, Has, isn't being logical. This person isn't being logical. They don't plan on being logical. It's not about being logical. It's about proving a point. This person is abusive. I think that... that uh, they just want to keep their authority. They don't want to lose control. Society it has taken over their mind. Okay, there's a lot of social pressure that we have somebody here that can't do the right thing. They've made so many mistakes that now that and now it's overwhelming them. It's overwhelming them. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to uh, do something. Okay, do something drastic. They are about to do something drastic. Um,
they're in a bad, bad place. I'm sorry. This is a bad place. It is. And it all stems from your head. It all stems from their head. Somebody's in a bad head space. And all they want is recognition. All they want is respect. All they want is to be the winner and, and to uh, be seen as a hero. When in fact, it's not about that. It's really not about that. But they can't see that. They can't see that. I feel like we have somebody here that um, it's like with the judgment card. There's some some sort of uh, awakening that is about to happen. Somebody is about to get some sort of awakening. Um, they're about to be woken up. Okay, by this person that is abusive. It's like you may you may be woken up by this person. Maybe you're sleeping and this person wakes you up. I don't know how that resonates with you, but there's about to be some sort of awakening here. Um, we have somebody here that doesn't want to uh, lose their pull. They don't want to lose their authority, their control over a situation because everybody is watching. Every I mean, here's society behind this person watching. They don't want everybody to know that they made huge mistakes or whatever the case is. You know, I honestly feel like we have somebody here that um, is hurting on the inside and they want to transfer that hurt over to another person. Um, so they're going to take action to do so and it's not going to be pretty. You know, so, you know, that's a, that's a terrible thing. And that is what I see. We have abuse here. The king of swords in reverse is, is abuse. This is somebody that is cold and uncaring and hard. And this person is in a is, is in mental stress right now. They're not very happy. I think that this person is caring. I mean, this could be, I don't know what this is, but it looks like it could be, it looks like it could be, it could be guns. I mean, I don't know what this is, but it could be anything. It could be anything. This person is, is carrying something um, somewhere. I don't know what it is, but I feel like this is a, an attack of some sort. I just feel like it's an attack. I have to tell you what I feel. Um, this person is, is harboring some sort of hate within them. And uh, my advice, we already talked about this the other day, is to stay home. Because that six of swords is reversed. Don't don't go anywhere. Because who, this person is out there. I don't know who this person is. Son of a bitch. I don't like it at all. I don't. Um, if somebody is about to take action. They're feeling hopeless. They're feeling sad. They are in a state of depression. And they can't forgive. They need to forgive. It's almost like they get some sort of epiphany that they they have to go do something. Whatever this is. Um, <laughs> Ten of Cups reversed. So, uh, this is the end of a legacy. It's the end of a of a of a, a family dynamic. I mean, it is the Ten of Cups reversed. There's relationship problem. There's a dying dream here, and we have a somebody that is not in the correct headspace to deal with it, and they may. Uh, act recklessly and hurt another person because of their uh, inability to deal with their emotions, their feelings, their thoughts, and their inability to forgive. So um, this is definitely heartbreaking. Um, I don't even know if I can share this message. It's very heavy. It is very, 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 very heavy. You need to release. You need to release the pain. You need to release the past. You need to release the hurt. You got to just drop it. Just drop that pain. Drop that hurt. Have faith and believe that if something didn't work out, it didn't work out for a reason. 
Don't hold on to it. Let it go. There's opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity to rebuild another relationship. There's not. There's always help. There's a way to get help. There's somebody that can help you. There, there you know, there, there, there is. Um, there could be a loss of a child here. There could be a loss of a child that has caused somebody to go insane even. This isn't like insanity. It is insanity. A secret is about to be revealed. Something is about to be revealed from somebody that is not in a good state of mind. Somebody is probably going to act foolishly. Good luck.